Tonight's discussion from Dr. Soloway are the rheumatic manifestations of diabetes. For those of you who don't know if you're diabetic, of course you need an endocrinologist and an ophthalmologist. However, you need a rheumatologist. Why do you need a rheumatologist if you're a diabetic? 1. Rotator cuff tendinitis. 2. Carpal tunnel syndrome. 3. DISH or diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis, which can cause, if it's in the neck, trouble swallowing. If it's in the lower back, it can cause pain. It can mimic ankylosing spondylitis. Next, trigger fingers, tendinitis of uh, fingers without triggering, contractures such as Dupuytren's contracture, Charcot foot or feet, um, there's more, but that's all I can think of off the top of my head at the moment. So, if you're a diabetic and you do not have a rheumatologist, you should, because your joint complaints are not surgical, meaning they're not orthopedic, they are rheumatologic, they are referred to as the rheumatic manifestations of diabetes. Ah, I've thought of one more. And this one is special because it is isolated to type 1 diabetics. All the other things I mentioned are for type 2 diabetics. Type 1 diabetics get a special arthritis or condition called chiroarthropathy. C-H-I-R-O-P-A-T-H-Y. Chiroarthropathy. Um, did I spell that right? Chiro. C H. I-E-R-O-A-R-T-H-R-O-P-Y, chiroarthropathy. You can look up on Google the photograph of what it looks like. It is also known by the term the prayer sign. It looks like somebody is praying and cannot put their knuckles together. Um, this is a type 1 diabetic, easy to recognize. Another rheumatic manifestation of diabetes not scleroderma, but scleroderma, thick indurated skin, usually on the back of the neck, it identifies a diabetic. Another feature that we find in diabetics in a rheumatology practice, bilateral parotid gland swelling or the mumps glands. And there was one other called diabetic amyotrophy. This would be... um. Uh, weakness and atrophy or wasting away of thigh muscles in a diabetic. So I've given you about 10 rheumatic manifestations of diabetes. And this is why if you're diabetic, you should see me if anything hurts or burns or gives you any discomfort that you're not otherwise understanding. I hope this information finds you well. If you have any questions, you know what to do. I'm trying very hard to answer all the questions that come in from my followers. And um, that's about it. I did answer the question about the relapsing polychondritis rash. Typically red raised rash, sometimes with blisters. If you see the rash, you check the blood count. If the blood count is abnormal... You should worry about myelodysplastic syndrome. If the blood count is normal, then you do not worry about the myelodysplastic syndrome. And have a nice night.